as well as the ability to create a different header or footer for the first page, for example, if you were doing a cover page, it is also possible to create different headers and footers for odd and even pages. Now that can be extremely useful if we take our access manual underscore detailed header and footer and just zoom out slightly just to be able to see the headers and footers. Here we can see the header on every page is central aligned Microsoft Access 2013 and the footer, although not legible, you can see the page numbers are on the right of every page. Now if you were going to export this document and print it double sided, then you would want the even pages to be on the left so that when the pages are back to back, the bottom corner of the outside, so the non-bound edge, always contains the page number. So you'd have the page number there, but the page number here on the evens, and we might even move the header to the right for odd pages and to the left for even pages. Now in order to do that, first thing we need to do is actually activate different odd and even header and footers for Word. So let's zoom back up to 100%. Double click either the header or the footer to get into the header and footer tools. And it's a little tick here, different odd and even pages that will be the first step. So we place the tick and we see that the odd page header retains what we already have in there. And the odd page footer retains what we already have in there. But the even page header and even page footer are currently blank. So what we'd like to do is in the odd page header, so this is going to be the facing pages, we're going to move this text, the title, so that it's on the right align tab. So we simply tab it across. And then in the footer, page number is going to stay on the right hand side, but I'd like the file path to be in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll take the page number and cut that, tab this across so it's in the middle, but then return it so it moves down and tab. So we can go back up to this line and then paste our page number in on the right. Delete the extra return that we've got there. So the page number is on the right align tab. The file path is now in the middle. But that's only the odd page footer and the odd page header. I want the same information in the even page header, but what I want to do is align it the other way. So what we'll need to do here is use the previous and next option here. Let's go previous to bring us through to the odd page header. We're going to select everything in there. So that's control A. So when you're in a header, it doesn't select the whole document. It selects the whole header content. And we'll copy that, move to the next, which takes us to the even page header, and then paste. And we find that our title appears in there with an extra carriage return. So we'll delete that. And we go to the beginning of the line and then just delete to bring the text box, in this case, the document title to the center tab point and then delete again to bring it to the left hand side. With the footer, we need to go previous, go to footer. I want to take all of this. So again, control A, copy it, go next to take me to the even page footer and then paste. And I'm quite happy for the title to appear across the middle. Let's just remove that extra carriage return again. But the page number I want on the left hand side. We can go to the beginning of page two, backspace delete to bring me to the center tab and backspace delete to bring me to the left hand side. Now the left hand tab for some reason has drifted. So I'm going to pull that across to the left of the footer so that the page two is on the left hand side. And my little file path remains in the middle. So the Odds are on the left, both header and footer, and the evens are on the left. Now if I close my header and footer and zoom away again so I can see the pages rather than the content, more interested in the headers and footers, I can see there in action a facing page, so an odd page has its title and its page number on the right, but an even page has its title and its page number on the left. And that goes throughout the whole document. So facing pages are odd. All right aligned, back pages are even and they're all left aligned. That feature is facilitated by turning on the different odd and even pages option, but then you still need to go in and put the content in for the even header and the even footer because it assumes that the content you currently have will drop into the odd header and the odd footer.